Well, I was back here collecting ink sacks, and I don't know how, but one of the villagers climbed up the ladder in this little structure I have right behind me, because that's where all the villagers are at. And I tried to push him back in, I was getting really frustrated with him, and as most people would do with villagers, after a while they end up killing them. So as you can see, I got his head. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make my giant pumpkin here. This is the little peninsula I talked about earlier. I'm not necessarily gonna be copying this guy. I'm going to pretty much use them for inspiration, plus I wanted it to get some idea in the way of how many blocks I need versus pixels. And kind of tweak it, I'm not necessarily going to get as detailed as this. And yes, I did decide to keep a cube form, it'd just be easier, I just don't really have the patience for it. But all this originally was, was a nice little hill, some trees, took all the trees down, flattened it out. There's an entrance to, on the, uh, to a case system that... I believe does meet up with some of the cave system that is underneath here and a ravine over there along with the abandoned mine shafts all over the place. And get started on it, but I'll probably end up doing some time lapse just because I'm not going to be talking and be kind of boring just to watch me place blocks by its without me talking or anything. And since I don't music on my vids, that's how it's going to be, and where's the sun, alright, here we go.
might change my mind right now having a blockish. Look, I kind of rounded out the corners a bit, and of course each face of the cube is going to have a slightly different face. And, oh, I kind of like it now. It's more roundish than that. I'm uh, still going to have to do the interior, the other three sides plus the top, and do something right here with the exterior. This is what I've come up with. Um, working on cornering off the corners in there. So, yeah, let's see how the rest goes. Let's see, I got all the exterior done. The many faces, each side's gonna have <clears throat> a slightly different face. Stuff spawning in right now. I'm trying to just new lighting glitches. So, yeah, each face is its own little, or each side has its own little face. the top, the interior, some of the exterior, and we're done.
Not bad. <laughs> As you can see, I pretty much got the main pumpkin. The reason I'll call him main pumpkin is this is not the only jank lantern that's going to be on there. <coughs> yeah, I like it. The exterior does need some work. And what I'm planning to do is pretty much place wherever there is a torch here. I think I got enough for the jank lantern. I'm going to have them all face. I don't know if they change position or replace them. Yeah. So they have all these little jack o' -landers. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I mean, I can always go back in the future and change it up a bit, but yeah, this is what I refer to now as Jack and Lantern Peninsula. Let me get rid of all this stuff here and I'll be back. So it looks like from the map of my base. There you go, that's a Jack Lantern Peninsula or Peninsula Jack Lanterns. Let's see what it looks like from afar. Not too bad. I like it. Oh, great, that's great. Dark sounds be perfect. That's the bread. Oh, and the sheeps. That's. Not bad. Let's see, it looks like on the trail. Oh, yeah, I like it already. You can kind of see right there. That's nice. It's a sticking out. Yeah, it looks pretty good.
Let's go to where I have my mob grinder. So I'd like to watch that from afar. In progress as I go along, occasionally coming over here to repair weapons, get some resources, or just general blah. Okay, you kind of better see it here, but peripheral vision. You just see that. Hello. of mood for Halloween so yeah all right well there you go you all have a happy Halloween from 2017